Hey gang, it's Rob, and in this installment of the podcast, we're going to talk about the 1002 objectives. Let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into it. Uh, if you're not familiar with me or the podcast, it's Rob from ITMasterKey.com, where we make online certification training a lot easier for you guys. Whatever certification you're going after, we have some tools to help you out. So the A plus is a two part exam. We already know. So you got to pass a thousand and one and the thousand and two and you'll be A plus certified. And this install, I'm going to talk about a thousand and two. So um, the thousand and two core two exam has four domains, operating systems, security, software troubleshooting and operational procedures. So let's go through the objectives. So the first objective for the first domain is compare and contrast common operating system types and their purposes. So the differences between iOS, Android, Chrome, Microsoft, all of the various operating systems that you'll probably run across in the field. Next up, uh, compare and contrast features of Microsoft Windows versions from Windows 7 all the way up to Windows 10. Next up, summarize general operating system installation consideration and upgrade methods such as boot methods, types of installations, partitioning, file system types and formatting, and several other areas. The next objective in the first domain is given a scenario, use appropriate Microsoft command line tools, command line tools such as ping, netstat, GP update, task skill, SFC, several different commands that can be used inside of a Microsoft machine. All right, next up, given a scenario, use Microsoft operating systems features and tools. So administrator features uh, such as MS config, task manager, disk management, and several different system utilities. Next objective, Given a scenario, use Microsoft Windows control panel utilities. So utilities such as internet options, user accounts, systems, uh, folder options, credential manager, bit locker, sound, device manager, so on and so forth. Next objective, summarize application installation and configuration concepts. Next up, Given a scenario, configure Microsoft Windows networking on a client desktop. So we're going to go through various things. What's the difference between a home group and a work group? What's the difference between different connections you can have, a VPN, dial-up, wired, wireless, remote desktop connection, firewall settings, DNS, gateways, network card properties. Next up, given a scenario, use features and tools of the Mac OS and Linux client operating system. So you can go through best practices, tools, uh, basic command lines, and features. All right, so that was all objectives in the first domain. The second domain is security. And the first objective is summarize the importance of physical security measures. The next objective is explain logical security concept so not physical stuff but logical stuff the next objective is compare and contrast wireless security and authentication protocols next objective is given a scenario detect remove and prevent malware using appropriate tools and methods next up compare and contrast social engineering threats and vulnerabilities. So if you listen to the last video, this is one of the big glaring differences in between 1001 and 1002. 1002 is a lot more software oriented and has a way bigger emphasis on security. Uh, next up, compare and contrast the difference of basic Microsoft Windows OS security settings. After that, Given a scenario, implement security best practices to secure a, work, a workstation. The next objective after that, given a scenario, implement methods for securing mobile devices. 
After that, given a scenario, implement appropriate data destruction and disposal methods. And after that, the last objective for the security domain is going to be given a scenario, configure security on a Soho wireless and wired networks. All right. The third domain is software troubleshooting. So 1001 is primarily hardware troubleshooting and 1002 is primarily software troubleshooting. So given a scenario, this is the first objective, given a scenario, troubleshoot Windows OS problems. Objective two, given a scenario, troubleshoot and resolve PC security issues. Objective number three, given a scenario, use best practice procedures for malware removal. Objective four, given a scenario, troubleshoot mobile OS and application issues. Objective five, given a scenario, troubleshoot mobile OS and application security issues. So the last domain, is going to be operational procedures. The first objective is compare and contrast best practices associated with types of documentation. The second objective is given a scenario, implement basic change management best practices. The third objective is given a scenario, implement basic disaster prevention and recovery methods. The fourth objective is explain common safety procedures. The fifth objective is explain environmental impacts and appropriate controls. The sixth objective is explain the process for addressing prohibited content, activity, and privacy licensing and policy concepts. The seventh objective is given a scenario, use proper communication techniques and professionalism. The eighth objective is identify the basics of scripting. And last but not least, the last objective in the last domain is given a scenario, use remote access technologies. All right, gang, so that was the objective that you can expect on the 1002 Core 2 exam. As always, if this podcast or this episode has helped you, make sure that you share it with two of your buddies. If um, this seems like a lot to deal with, a lot to uh, swallow it one time, then you can head over to icmagicy.com. We have um, lectures set out that cover all the objectives that we just talked about to help you go ahead and knock out the 1002 exam. Uh, it's all online, 100% self paced, so you can go to a pace that is comfortable for you. Uh, make sure you follow me at Master IT TX, Instagram, i.t. underscore master. Um, where the hell else are we? Everywhere, we're everywhere, everywhere that you are, we are. Um, last but not least, if you need um, uh, a little bit of extra help, make sure that you join the Facebook group and the Master IT Cybersecurity Study Group. Other than that, have an awesome day, and I'll see you in class.